Welcome to a very special episode of O2N Lifestyle. I'm Nicole Di Griffith. And I'm Richard Young. And you know, Richard, the O2N Foundation was founded in 2015 because we firmly believe in the power of the human spirit to overcome, inspire, and to give each other hope yeah. by being our best, simply by sharing, celebrating, and encouraging each other. That is why our motto is to create connect and cohere. Indeed, Nicole, the word cohere, which means to come together, to form a whole. That is the heart and soul of what we do. I remember one of our first episodes was the tw in 2015 when we developed the O2N Human Development Series. Catherine, Liz, including me. Remember mm -hmm. I was there? I and then we went on to Guyana, Antigua, and we had an episode in New York. I remember that very clearly, Richard, because that as I mentioned before, is essentially the genesis of the O2N Foundation. It was born out of my own need to breathe. I felt mm -hmm. suffocated after a, a political experience. And, you know, I just needed to be oxygenated. And I remember reaching out to a friend, Karen, and she and I having this conversation about the importance of creating safe spaces for persons to create, to connect, and, and to cohere. To Hence the birth of the first O2N Human Development Series in 2015 with all of the wonderful people that you would have mentioned. Mm -hmm. So that was really quite special. And then taking it overseas yeah. into the Caribbean and internationally. Such an honor to be here breathing in the oxygen in this room with so many wonderful people. You know, when they called phone and asked me, she said she wanted to me to speak today. I thought, what could I add? What could I bring of value? Um, to the podium and you know I never tell Nicole no so I said yes and then I realized I have to speak so here I am so what I thought I would do is that I would begin my first 10 minutes by um, telling you a little bit about the women who have influenced my life in Trinidad and Tobago they walk among us these are you know I could think of dozens of them but they're just two don't need to worry. There are two that came to mind that just have given so much and have mentored me. And I'm really grateful for them. So I thought I would talk about them and their projects the first 10 minutes. And then I would talk a little bit about myself. Because when I started to examine who I was with Nicole's question, I found that once I opened that story, I learned so much about myself and I would like to share it with you. My name is Elizabeth Montano, née Elizabeth Romaine. I was born in Carnage in 1950, so at present I'm moving towards 65. Um, I went to St. Crispin Anglican School in Woodbrook and then went on to St. James Secondary after being a late call. I remember in my primary school, I, I liked to play and liked to talk. So when the common entrance results came out, I didn't pass. But I went home and sat in the toilet and, and prayed and said, God, you can't fail me. I can't fail. Although I used to play and didn't really deserve to pass, you know. So, but I prayed. And fortunately, my prayers came through. One morning, I heard my teacher saying, Romaine Batson and Car, Romaine Batson and Car. And we went up to Mr. Noel, who was our principal, and he said, Go down to St. James Secondary School and um, you are late call. So we walked down to St. James Sec, and I remember standing in front of all those bright children who had passed before me, you know, and I was saying to myself, Excuse my words. I say, you see all the bitches, none of them will beat me here to after today. <laughs> I did say it, sorry, but I did say it. You know? <laughs> and so said, so done. I remember being one of the top students in St. James Secondary School and going on to get six O levels, then went on to start A levels, but left and went to Mausaka Teachers College 
1969 where I met my husband Winston Montano and we got married in 73. My story is and it's in process learning to love self and um, it's not as easy as that statement is. If you look in the mirror genetically you might be a little blessed um, you might have money in your pocket but in a quiet moment you are not so self-loving i've had many of those quiet moments um, but in that reevaluation moment i worked out ways for people to start loving themselves so i have transposed that into the work i do and that's what i do all the time i have to do it all the time because i don't want that empty moment to come up so it goes back there it's like a zombie so it became my métier, it became my vocation, it became my raison d'etre to constantly make us be more loving of self, which I, which I use the fashion, the fashion story to tell. And that's why I empower people who are in the creative industries to do it their way. So I'll just give you an overview of Oxygen with Nicole. In 2010, coming out of the political experience, Oxygen with Nicole was founded as a result of the thickness of the air that resided in our country around that period. And it somehow is being replicated now. When you look at the political divide in this country, it's either left or right. You're one way or the next. And if you're down the center, sometimes you feel as though you're in no man's land. And it's because of that feeling of being in no man's land that sometimes you tend to feel that you're grasping for oxygen and hence the birth of Oxygen with Nicole, giving persons the opportunity to be able to breathe, the opportunity to be able to share positive experiences, to enlighten and to lift others. And as a result of that, I partnered with International Creative Director Richard Young, and we developed the Oxygen with Nicole concept and the safe space concept, which started essentially creating a safe space for women, where other women will be able to share their stories, to create, to connect, and to cohere. And you know, Richard, I also remember in 2017 mm -hmm. when violence against women was at an all-time high. And then we created personal safety interventions to give everyone a fighting chance. And so we had the response and then we had the Fighting Chance Initiative, which was held in collaboration with Hyatt Regency, with the hotel in Tobago, Grafton Beach Resort, I believe. And it was so well done. Yeah. And in 2018, which is very dear to me, the O2N Foundation had a creative Caribbean collaboration, O2N style. <laughs> In 2018, we did in 2019, then we added Style and Hyatt, and you know that's where my, my heart and soul lie. I know, I know. And that was certainly some type of journey. More when we come back. Welcome back, and thanks for staying with us in 2019 we started the creative conversation we did that in 2019 and 2020 another one that is dear to my heart because of the reach we made the people that we brought on board and and, and the extensive outreach that I was that was had with what we did i particularly like the creative conversations i know that's one of your favorites <laughs> mm. I was a little white girl growing up down the islands and so on, and I really didn't know uh, my culture, you know? I was an observer. I came back to Trinidad on vacation, but with creative people, I came back with people who were in film, and they were like, oh my God, this music, this, this culture, this carnival, we have to do something. I believe that we need to invest in our infrastructure, our creative infrastructure. So what should be next, which is a yeah. contorted version yes. of what you asked, yes. mm -hmm. uh, should be something along the line of um, investing in the infrastructure for creativity. Hi, Niran. Hi, Richard. Thanks very much to you and Nicole for having me. Yeah. As individuals give up certain things to the government with the expectation that there would be a return. The primary one is safety, of course, mm -hmm. right? So we instead of being nomads and so on, we say we live in a group 
and we let somebody lead and organize this place so that the wolves and the bears and the raiders and whatever would we would we would be safe uh, you know the special thing about the otwen foundation is that we always respond when there needs to be a response so when in i can't remember the exact date but there was a national tragedy in antigua and barbuda you recall with the hurricane yes, that devastated yes. most of antigua and barbuda and a bit of dominica mm -hmm. the otwen foundation responded to that call with what we call the colmena telethon and we had done that in collaboration with synergy tv and we amassed so much assistance support and donations for yes. our brothers and sisters in antigua and barbuda and dominica so that that was a really special one another intervention that we participated in was when one of the members of the oecs st vincent and the grenadines were devastated so we participated and collaborated with the oecs and a number of other partner agencies to host stronger together we are a global family i think richard that was one of our marquee. okay now, that's a milestone it was a milestone, milestone because of the the people who came on board to endorse it yeah. um the reach we had and in fact the the money that was got mm -hmm. that was handed to the government of st vincent and the grenadines to help because in addition to the fact that it was housed in the COVID space. Mm -hmm. There was devastation because of the rain and the flooding and the yeah. mud, and it was horrible. Mm -hmm. and, and we were able to get a lot of our creatives throughout the Caribbean space, the OACS as well as CARICOM, to join in and support our great cause. It was yep. really a clarion call. It was. Welcome to Stronger Together. I'm Nicole Dyer Griffith. And I am Richard Young. And we're coming to you from Trinidad and Tobago today, connecting with our Caribbean brothers and sisters worldwide. Yes, indeed, Nicole. We are gathering to bring attention to the plight of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines after the eruption of the last Soufriere volcano. Stronger, we're better together. Stronger, we're better together. Stronger, we're better together. Stronger, we're better. Together. Stronger, we're better. We have a strong contingent from Jamaica, Nicole. And guess who's one of them? It's the girls, them sugar. Let's head right out to Jamaica. Sim Sima, who got the keys to my bima? Oh my, the girls, them sugar. How can I make love to other them in the grass? Pass me the keys to my chat. Who am I? The girls them luck. And now you know we we'll make love to precious Sim Sima. Who got the keys to my pima? Who am I? The girls them sugar talking nice. And don't the heart can't sleep with broom. And they are like the trees they can't bloom. And they shall show lip fade away. Well I know. Don't the heart can't want to eat soap. The meditation to supply crew. And they shall slowly. What's Sans Cosse? Sans Cosse, hear me no Romain. No, for them now go like that, Junior. Why? Bad man stuck in the maid like a tumor. Them fake like three stripes, but like made by Puma. Tell what people like, for the people are rumor. Uh, Y'all ready? Now I woke up this morning and I feel it nice about the path that I chose.
make your pledge now. Stronger together. We are a global family. I want y'all to be resilient and just definitely know that Moto is here to support the vibes all the way. Stronger together, we are a global family. Love ya. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Why do stars fall from the sky every time you walk by? And I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to leave. My heart is with yours. I just want to say that I believe in the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I know that things are going to be better. You know why? Because we're going to stick with you all over the Caribbean. We are going to be and we are your family because we are stronger together. We are a global family. Much love to all the people in St. Vincent. Mwah. Welcome back. I mean, Nicole, it really, I don't want to get too emotional, but it brings some tears to my eyes because of the the response we got because we are engendering compassion which is natural to us as humans and sometimes we don't do enough of it calling people to show and demonstrate love in the real way and um and that made me really feel that we were doing something fulfilling and and actionable you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know richard particularly with that power for score touched us in so many ways because I recall the few days before that event, we had a conversation with the late Hazel Brown because Hazel was supposed to have been a guest and one of our featured guests in the Power of Fosco. And, you know, she yeah. transitioned on that very week. Yes, yes. That, that was, was something. It, yeah, very was, good. it yeah. made us recognize how important it is to give people their flowers exactly. when they're here. Exactly. And so, and that was yeah. the reason we did it. And the name seems to have punched because the power of four score, the strength of people who have crossed four score on this planet Earth and still being able to contribute. And the response that they had was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I know you were a little nervous thinking I because was. we have a, a way of being ageist. So yeah. we thought that the response to older folks speaking might have not, you know, Create the, create the traction we wanted, but it definitely did that. It, it did. I was really pleasantly surprised. And I was more pleasantly surprised because the the mass of younger persons yes, in the audience, yes, yes. and they all just sat there just soaking in all the information by those persons who were on the stage. So much so, you remember, they didn't want to leave. They didn't want to leave. The I show said, ended and they were still you, sitting there. Get home safely and no one had left, you know. Yeah, they just sat yeah. there. It, it, it validated. It validated the power of four score. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a tragedy for the younger people in the country not being given an opportunity to read yeah. the history. People have written about them, about Sir Ellis, Hugh Wooden, Solomon Ho Choi, Dodd Allen, all the, these people 
uh, Maxwell Philip, in 1885, Pudam David, a colored man, less than 50, won an Isla scholarship from QRC College. That was less than 50 years after the abolition of slavery. And I sit down today, I enjoy talking to young people. And Ruth? I would say to the young people, have faith in God and worship him daily. Mm -hmm. He's your only help. All, also, I would say, educate yourself. Without education, there's little hope for progress. And I would say, be honest and respectful in whatever you do. And what about the We Are a Global Family? We Are a Global Family. Again, I remember during the COVID period, one of the things we did as an organization was to shift the paradigm in the way in which we do business. Generally, we had to design an intervention that would touch all parts of the globe and still be able to be housed in one space. Hence the birth of We Are a Global Family, where we touched persons from everywhere. I remember from Maldives, from the US, from UK, from Australia, from wherever, Morocco, mm, yeah. I remember. And they all just sent in a video speaking about we are why we are a global family and the importance to remain connected and to cohere around the paradigm of being part of a family during the COVID period. And we support the O2N. I share the vision of O2N Foundation. We are a global family. And acknowledge our global essential services. As our frontline defenders. Let's breathe life. Into our frontline defenders. Into our frontline defenders. Our nurses, our doctors. The police officers, the fire officers. The prison officers, the military. Sending love from Monaco to our frontline personnel all around the world. One of the things I really appreciated about that, Richard, is I reached out to some of my old Miss Universe colleagues and members, uh, delegates from Miss Universe, who I hadn't spoken to in such a long time. Mm -hmm. And they all just said absolutely and jumped on board. So thank you to all of those persons who would have participated, not only in the We Are a Global Family intervention, but all of the interventions thus far. Richard always, always hears me lamenting about corporate Trinidad Tobago and corporate support, yeah. but we get what needs to be done, done. So it's so very important to recognize the partners who see the vision, who understand the mission, and who support. Yeah, because, I, and we spoke to the whole technological age and the global shrinkage, you know, in the COVID space. One of the things that COVID actually did to enhance us as a human civilization is that in spite of the fact that we were in lockdown and we were constricted, we reached out and we made connection happen. Yeah. And, and we also that the other pro one of our other processes called the give. Mm -hmm. We are creatives. We, we rewarded creatives who constantly give of themselves. And in the yeah. time of need, a lot of times, creatives were the ones who suffered in, in situations like with the COVID pandemic because there was no work. There yeah. was no income generating. Mm -hmm. And we, we reached out to them. And that was one of the good things that we, we felt good about reaching some of our creative um, brethren and sistren. And they responded really positively. Some of them were really touched, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. This is a time of reflection and reimagining, more so for us in the creative industry. Each of us has to devise a way forward to be sustainable in this new creative economy. 2020 has closed the old and opened a new for me. And in my experience, what it did was it, it, it really exemplified how important collaboration is for, for our survival. In all, it has made me a lot more innovative in the services that I do provide. That brings us back to where we are now on this set of O2N Lifestyled, where we've partnered with OMG Media, CCN TV6 and others to make this very special series of episodes come to life. It really breathes life into the creative aspects, into human development, into building capacity and everything that really forms the O2N Foundation. I want to take this time to say I'm very proud of you, Nicole Dye Griffith. Um, you became a protege of mine when you were going up from Mr. Trinidad and Tobago. And you grew to this woman that is really involved in wanting to see sustainable development action, creative transformation, um, human development in a real sense, because I'm here with you. And all our projects are designed to do that. And we always try to do it masterfully and, and to elevate the game. 
you know, and with our partner at OMG Media, who believe in what we, we, we stand for, we are able to make this thing be substantive. And that's what I really feel great being part of this thing with what you're doing. Are you trying to make me cry? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Richard, because as I mentioned to you before, sometimes you feel why continue? You feel the struggle of why continue, but the continuance comes because of people like you and everyone else who believes in the greater good and who believes in the human spirit and what the human spirit has to give. And so this is why we came together to continue doing these episodes. You would have seen the human spirit, the power of humility and the human spirit in each one of our special guests over the last few episodes. And so it really was a gift, not only from us to you, from you to us, but it was a gift for everyone in Trinidad and Tobago and across the region, across the world, who would have received what we brought forward. Thank you so very much. Climaxing with O2N Style at O2 Park. And that's happening soon, come this weekend, actually. Mm -hmm. It's happening mm -hmm. O2N Style at O2 Park in a really fantastic location at O2 Park. Really multi-dimensional show packed with talent, packed with designers. There are 20 designers on show. It's the only one of its kind in the region. And we also have regional practitioners involved. I am so excited about that. So, O2N Style at O2 Park, our next move. See you soon. I'm Nicole Diagrapher. And I'm Richard Young. Bye for now. The Oxygen with Nicole Foundation presents O2N Style at O2 Park a festival of Caribbean style, featuring collections by game-changing regional fashion designers with a supporting cast of stellar performing talent on Sunday 28th April at 5 p.m. Go to N Style at O2 Park Shagaramas, the 2024 edition. For ticket information, call the O2N Foundation at 269-7791 or check out related social media platforms. Come immerse yourself in an experience that celebrates our Caribbean aesthetic. Part proceeds will go to the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago. O2N Style at O2 Park. Style. It's in our DNA.